Christine Keels, and I am a citizen of the state of Maryland, and I'm coming because of my personal health concerns and behalf of all the persons in the state of Maryland who are suffering from lung diseases. And so I want to begin by saying that I have a sunburn, and you might look at me and my skin and say, where is that sunburn? The, uh, the burn that I have is not on my skin, not on my beautiful African American skin, but instead it's on my lungs. It's a constant reminder that there are pollutants that are entering into my system. And so my diagnosis is that I have a CPOD and also for asthma, and I also have, I have also struggled with chronic bronchitis. I moved to Maryland uh, 38 years ago, and within three years of moving to Maryland, I was hospitalized and diagnosed with COPD. And so since that time, I've been struggling with medications, hospitalizations, and treatment plans. Part of my treatment plan on a daily basis means getting up in the morning, flushing my nose with uh, saline solution to make sure there are no pollutants, making sure I carry with me at all times cotton balls, for persistent nosebleeds, making sure that I have Q-tips and other things to help me deal with nosebleeds and other types of uh, substances that are uh, lodged inside of my nostrils as a result, result of pollutants. As I travel to DC for, to work every day, I have to make sure I'm aware of where the closest hospitals are in case I have an uncontrollable nosebleed or if I have a coughing attack that I cannot control or if there's fluid in my lungs that I cannot control. And so I've uh, spent the gamut of the state of Maryland visiting various hospitals. From Cecil County to Western <coughs> Maryland to the Eastern Shore to Prince George's County, Montgomery County, I visited every hospital for various different treatment related to my lung disease. But I need help. All of the citizens of the state of Maryland need help. We need for our government and our citizens to focus on clean air so that we can all breathe more effectively and be able to enjoy the beautiful state. I cannot drive around the state of Maryland or anywhere with my windows down for fear of a pollutant that may ultimately place me in the hospital or take me out of work for a long period of time. I pay the highest premium in Blue Cross Blue Shield to ensure that when I'm hospitalized, I can pay for that bill. And even with that high premium and my federal government salary, I'm still struggling to pay my health bills. And so something as inexpensive and as free as being able to breathe freely and to be able to take in a big breath of air into my lungs and feel my lungs expand should be easy, should be comfortable, should be my human right, and should be the human right of every citizen of the state of Maryland. We are concerned about coal burning in the state. We are concerned about making sure that our plants have the modern restraints and modern regulations to preserve our breathing capabilities. We want our governor to look at uh, planning and make sure there are no loopholes, making sure that we are protected and making sure that air is comfortable, free, and enjoyable. I've been here almost 40 years, and within three years, my lungs start to fail me. So if I can't breathe, my, my brain can't function, my heart can't function, my liver can't function. When the temperature changes, and pollutants go up and down, for example, with the ozone layer, then those are days that I have to take sick leave. Those are days that I am required to spend more of my money that I could spend in the state of Maryland working with nonprofit organizations and giving generous donations. But instead, I'm spending that money in drug stores, buying expensive medicine, <coughs> staying home, and not using my positive and beautiful personality to help someone else. So please tell the governor, that as a citizen of the state of Maryland, I want to be able to give more to the state of Maryland. If he helps me to breathe, I can give a whole lot more. Thank you.